Going back to our top story yet again, two more children have drowned in the province of KwaZulu-Natal, this bringing to five the number of drownings in the province in just the past few days. The drownings come amid heavy rainfall and flooding warnings being issued in several districts of the province. On Wednesday, three teenagers aged 14, 17 and 18 were swept away whilst trying to cross the Madimofu River. Joining us on the phone line to unpack further details on this is the KZN SAPS spokesperson, Colonel Tembeka Mbele. A very good afternoon to you, Mbele. Thank you so much for your time and for joining us this afternoon right here in Afro World View. Perhaps just give us more details with regards to this drowning incident that took again in the province. Yes. What happened is that the, the learners um, were coming from, from school, uh, going back to home. And it's their routine that they, 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 they walk through that river. And they've mentioned that the, the river is muddy. If it's muddy, but if there was rain, it gets more muddy. And then the very same day, they use the same rules going back to, to, to going back home. And that is when all three of them drowned, and one who was with them managed to survive. Mm. And now, Colonel, we do know that uh, these drownings actually come amid heavy rainfalls experienced in the province, and uh, actually just. Last week, rather on Wednesday, three teenagers also were swept away whilst trying to cross this very same river. Just talk us through some of the concerted efforts by the SAPS with regards to preventing any people making use of this river in the interim until it is then safe. It's not the duty of the SAPS to, uh, to, to, to monitor the, the, the river. Uh, our duty is to, 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 to investigate crime and it's, it's connected incidents. But what I can advise the the, 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 the parents to talk to the learners. They must not cross the river if there's been rain. Because sometimes the rain, it, it rains on the other side of the area and then the, the, river, get, uh, it's, the, the river is flooded in, in the other area. And that cannot be observed or noticed by the, the, mm. the, the people coming in the area. So I would advise them not to, to cross on the, on, the, on the river. If there are bridges, they would rather use the, use the bridges. Or if there's been raining or in the morning, the weather is not uh, looking good. I would advise that they, won't, they don't go to school so that they won't be the victim of these circumstances. Well, Colonel, indeed, thank you so much for speaking with us this afternoon right here in Afro Worldview. That was the case that an SAPS spokesperson, Colonel Tembe Gambela, joining us on the phone line this afternoon and packing more details with regards to the latest drowning incident that took place in the province of KwaZulu Natal, where two more children drowned amid heavy rainfalls being experienced in some parts of those districts of that province.